So folks, today's big game, that's Man United versus Liverpool. Well, as a United fan, I'm slightly disappointed. We've just dropped two points again in injury time. Um, I think we were fortunate to be leading anyway. I'm sure uh, nobody would disagree with me there, even the most fervent of United fans. Liverpool were by far and away the best team. I would suggest the one point we got, we probably value for it on the fact that we put a lot of effort into the game and we kept trying, especially when our backs were against the wall. But in all honesty, for all we've dropped two points, I'm relieved it wasn't three. With ten minutes ago, I said to my lad, they're going to get an equaliser here and then get a winner. They were all over us, absolutely all over us. They were running rings around us. At the back, and it's weird, I thought Dallow wasn't bad. I thought the, the young boy, the young centre-back, Cabal played really, really well. Great, great game. Harry was commanded. Um, you know what I feel of wan -Bissaka. The less said about him, the better. And he gave the penalty away. Just a stupid, stupid challenge. That's two on the bounce after Dallow's challenge against Chelsea. Um, but we were all over the place. We looked like a team of people that hadn't played together before. It was crazy. I mean, Amrabat came on. I think they did two alright things, but... Never got in the game, never got in the game, you know, and just a bit, a bit disappointing. I mean, on, on the balance of the game, Liverpool, by far the better team, deserve three points. But when we get to 2 1 and we get to sort of eight or nine minutes to go plus extra time, we've got to be looking at seeing that out. I didn't think we would because they had chance after chance after chance. Their finishing today was woeful. Um, but I was expecting to get back in it, but to let them in it that way with the penalty was poor. Just really poor. He didn't need to go for him, and that last twenty minutes or so, they were they were they were passing in triangles ra around Wan Bissaka on that wing. That young boy that he fouled for the penalty. I mean, he was running behind Wan Bissaka all the time and taking passes from left to right. It was unbelievable. Uh, Wan Bissaka has been caught in no man's land most of the game today. But they were keeping the ball. They were passing through us. We was getting the ball and losing it almost immediately. We never had any possession the last fifteen minutes of the game. Uh, had we have been able to keep hold of the ball, I think we could have saw it out. But because they were coming at us in waves, I just never thought we were going to see it out. But as it turns out, it's a point. It's a good point. Uh, but ultimately, really, we've, we've we've not dropped two. We've dropped three points. We were winning with minutes to go, and we need to see that out. So we've dropped three today, and we dropped three against Chelsea, and it's poor. But we didn't deserve them today. We didn't deserve them. I'm happy with the points, I'd have liked all three. And maybe the points deserving because of effort, but only on effort alone. They were the better team. Um, and it's a shame to see, really, you know. But the comforting point is it just might have helped knock uh, Liverpool's title challenge off. You know, I mean, at the end of the day now, um, it's now in Arsenal's hands. It was in Liverpool's, it's now in Arsenal's. I would suggest, though, if I'm Jurgen Klopp, I would rather it be in Arsenal's hands than City's hands. And they have not got that equaliser Liverpool, it could have been a very, very different ball game at the top. Because I think if you put a gun to Klopp's head and say, this title race, whose hands do you want it in? Arsenal's hands or City's? He'd take Arsenal every day of the week. Because had, had, had they not got that goal back at the end there, they level on points with City and only one in front on goal difference. And there's every chance City can pull that goal difference back. Every chance with the firepower they've got. So then it becomes a really difficult race then for Liverpool. As it is at the moment, they win every game... City win every game, they beat City. So then it's all about Arsenal. So I think uh, Klopp, though will be upset they've not got three points, in the end they'll be happy that they took one point out of it and that they still stay in front of City. Um, but then again, what do I know? And I've rambled a bit, folks, I do apologise. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, Ganaccio wasn't used enough, had a great game, when he was on the ball he was good, not used enough. Rashford put a bit of effort in for a change. Hoyland, they virtually didn't find him all, all game again today. The couple of times he did, he had a couple of real bad bounces of the ball, made a couple of bad decisions, but unlucky. Um, who else? Kobe's just brilliant. Um, got over him a little bit from time to time. Their midfield was better than ours, uh, but he worked manfully. Goal, absolutely fantastic. And I mean fantastic. Bruno never stopped working, but until the goal he did nothing. Every pass he made was wrong. He was some terrible passing. He had a poor game based on us today, but great goal. And he never stopped working there after chasing things down. He worked his uh, socks off. Uh, as I say, the young centre-back played well. Harry Maguire caught in possession a couple of times, but played well. I did everything out. Was something of a rock there. Dallow not too bad. Um, 
So not too bad. I mean, again, we're missing lots and lots of players, and that that bat line looks shaky all the time. But it's hardly surprising. We just can't get an established bat line at the moment. It's crazy. I think the only one that's had any, any real run of games this year has been Dello. He's been the only one. Uh, for that reason, he's probably the the best we've had at the bat this year. But it's only because he's been in virtually every week. Anyway, we got a point. Um, I think we deserved it on effort. On how the game went and who was the better team, I think we deserved probably nothing. So for that, I'll take a point. But I would have liked three and we nearly had them. Yet again. Yet again.